This week in Nerf, it's the end of the year. We're going to talk about some of the highlights. I'm Jangular, and for the final time in 2018, this is your source for first party, third party, and community Nerf news. Now, we're going to do things a little bit differently this week uh, because it is the end of the year. I'm not actually going to have stuff popping up over here because we're going to be talking about a number of things and uh, just... A reminder, sadly, that uh, after this episode, I will be taking a break from video production for uh, an uncertain amount of time. We'll talk about that more next week. I'll have a video up going into all the reasons why, but just one more time reminding you that uh, there will not be This Week in Nerf on this channel for an extended period. I'm sorry, it makes me sad, but we can't focus on that. Let's talk about this year, because it was a cool year in Nerf. I, uh, there's just so much to talk about. I was writing up talking points and notes, and I was like, wow, this is really a lot of crazy stuff that happened this year. So, to really focus on some of the things, it was kind of a year in 3D printed blasters. There is a ton of them. We had a good number of them in 2017, but this year it just kind of exploded. Uh, we got the FDL-3, we got the Jupiter, we got uh, different variants of the Caliburn updated, we got the Foxfire, we got the Spring Thunder, we got the Meeker MK series, we've got the Pigeon, the Rectify, the Chimera, the NG-1, the MHP-15, the, uh, the Esper, the Aurora, the, uh, just so many. That's not even all of them. Uh, that's the crazy thing. There's so many. It's awesome. It really, it shows that people are embracing that side of the hobby and the, the cre creation and production uh, that can be done on a small scale through the wonder that is 3D printing. And it just makes me so happy to see people creating the things that they want and they want to see in the hobby and they want people to use or uh, adapt and modify and make an open source platform that they can then further iterate on. And it's just... It's amazing to me uh, the way the community just kind of exploded in that regard. And now, 3D printing the last few years has been a massive part of this hobby to begin with, but Complete Blasters is something that we'd seen from like FDL, JSPB, um, the Caliburn, and uh, like a couple others. Like we'd seen the T19, which uh, hasn't really seen a production run of anything, but there's there's several others that like we'd seen, but this is like a dozen plus new entries into fully 3D printed blasters this year. That's awesome. That's so cool. And that is just, it just makes me really happy. I, I don't really think there's another way to put it. It just makes me very excited for the talent that is in this community and in this hobby. Um, I, I often think about the fact that we are a community of, of not only just players, but tinkerers and engineers and people that are brilliant, absolutely brilliant. And they bring that to the table for this hobby. And that's just something that I think we have over other hobbies in large amounts. And, and that's not to say our hobby is better than other hobbies. I think just that we have lucked out to bring in uh, all these people that are just so intelligent and so talented that I love seeing what all of you create. Uh, so that's that to me is one of the big things of 2018. Another thing uh, that is personal for me is the growth of the competitive scene. Now we're still a long way from where I want us to be, but we've seen uh, large events. We had Ragnar Oktoberfest where we had 10 teams, uh, people that have never played competitive Nerf before getting to get their, their feet wet in uh, the competitive scene for this. We've had uh, the growth of Quick Flag in Singapore that spawned Quick Flag UK and Quick Flag New Zealand. Uh, so there's Quick Flag being played in multiple countries, multiple continents, uh, and that's really, really exciting. And then we have the uh, Ion Rush version of competitive nerf that's picking up steam here in North America with the start of the Atomic Dart League and then that transferring over to places like uh, Detroit Dart League and uh, some others are working on picking that up and then we had our King of the Hill League on the West Coast and there's other groups slowly picking that up as well and it's just it's coming together. It's coming together slowly because 
there's a lot that goes involved or gets involved in uh, starting things up and, and acquiring everything, but seeing the, the excitement and the fun that people have when they get a chance to play competitive Nerf, it's amazing to me because it's, it's what I have wanted to see for such a long time since I got into the hobby like six years ago. It's what I've wanted and to see it finally starting to make its way through is just, oh, it gets me so excited. I, I can't wait to be on the field playing competitively again. And I, I hope that 2019 is an explosion in competitive nerf popularity. Uh, that's not to say that I want it to be the only way you nerf. No, it's one aspect of nerf. It's one that I want to see become more popular and more common but I don't want it to overshadow other styles. I want it to be right there in line with everything else. So that's that's kind of something I really want to see happen in 2019 um, as we ramp things up for the BTA that, that is aiming to be that competitive source for all the game types and hosting your leagues and your standings and all that kind of stuff. So that's a personal note for me kind of thing for the year of 2018 and what I want to see going into 2019. 19. But let me know if you have had a chance to play anything competitive, if your group is maybe trying some game types here and there and, and kind of getting into it a little bit because I would love to see more of it. But something else that was kind of a, a thing this year is more and more high quality parts. Now we've had, again, plenty of 3D printed parts and it's not the 3D printed stuff can be, can't be high quality because it definitely can. Plenty of stuff is really, really nicely done uh, in 3D printed uh, uh, components. So that's not the case, but I, I personally really enjoy like the nice metal cages and the nice machined wheels out of Delrin, the nice kind of premium stuff that gives another layer to our hobby. And we saw quite a bit of that this year, especially with cages. We got the uh, the Tsunami cage from Containment Crew, the Typhoon cage from Heston Systems. We got Eclipse cages and Serenity cages from um, Open Flywheel Project and plenty of other stuff like that. We had the Turbo Ranger cage, which is a Raven cage that's high quality from uh, Roboman, which is just, oh, so nice, especially with the coating on it. Oof. Oh, I want one of those for more, more uh, flywheel blasters, for different flywheel blasters, because they are just so sweet looking. Um, but not just flywheel cages. We also got things like the Specs BZ. The, uh, there's now an updated version of that for HPA blasters. You don't have to cannibalize an XBZ and hope the plastic tank holds. Now you've got a nice custom fully metal uh, built ca or, uh, tank for your HPA blasters that you can pick up. Definitely a nice addition to the community. We've seen things um, in terms of mag and dart options. More and more darts being available, though we have had some issues with the glue and options there. I continue to hope that we will see a really high quality dart that always meets the standards of glue and foam quality and durability as well as accuracy. And mag options have really kind of come a long way this year. We, we've gotten more and more of them, namely the big one that dropped recently was the Talon, which those, those mags feel indestructible. And they feed well so far, we'll see how they go long term, but that's just another aspect that's like, this is great. Having these high quality things that will be durable and perform and last, that's a great mark to leave on the year of 2018 and something I hope we continue into 2019. Something else I hope we see in 2019 is a little bit more brushless push. Now we've got things like the Ultra Strife and the FDL blasters and stuff like that. I really would love to see some Delrin wheels for uh, brushless blasters, brush brushless cages and all of that. Right now, pretty much everything is running off of uh, 3D printed wheels, which have done well, uh, don't, don't get me wrong, but another one of those little premium kind of things that feel that uh, finish, something that someone could look at, you know, from an outside perspective and be like, wow, that's really nice looking. That's really clean looking, you know? Uh, there's enough of a demand to do like a production run of something like that. And don't get me wrong, there are options for cages that can use brushless um, 
wheels, like the, uh, the Tsunami Cage is the first one that comes to mind, but I haven't seen it really utilized heavily. And I don't know if the wheel wells are large enough to take advantage of some of the things we see for cages like that. So maybe a specific like metal, high quality brushless flywheel cage with some nice Delrin wheels or some other kind of good quality component wheels just to kind of up things a little bit more. Like that's, those are the things I think about and would absolutely love to see. Um, but there's a ton of things like that. As much as we've grown, we can continue to grow and continue to fine tune and tweak and add little things here and there. And that's what I love about all of us is that we're always doing that. We're always striving for that and looking for those things that we can, we can tweak and we can improve and stuff like that. So that's, I'm sure they'll come. I'm sure they'll come and I'm looking forward to them. Absolutely. I mean, we've already got like metal and Delrin Calibrin components like the tooth and nail from Drac and then the Delrin components from Containment Crew, which I'm definitely going to mix and match in a future build. So high quality stuff has a place. Like even if it's a small batch run of something, it has a place in our hobby because you can get good performance out of something entry cost level but sometimes you just want to have a nice showpiece or something that really is a bit more unique or something that you know you have and maybe uh you spent a little bit more but you're happy with it i love those options and that's what i want to see more of in 2019. um before we go on i do just want to take a moment to say something else that i enjoyed in 2018 is all of you the people on this channel that, that watch and comment and are a part of the community, I feel incredibly lucky to have you watching the videos that I make and leaving the comments, especially last week, the amount of support and, and wonderful comments that I feel, I feel bad I didn't respond to them. I've just kind of, we'll talk about that last, next week again, but just the support is amazing to me. I, I can't put it into words but it means a lot. And the respect that this community shows uh, in the comments in these videos, I almost never see something disrespectful, which is kind of mind blowing on a platform like YouTube. And that just speaks volumes about all of you and how much I appreciate all of you and what you have done to help cultivate this channel to what I want it to be, a respectful, welcoming place for our hobby. And you've helped made that happen. So thank you. Sincerely, thank you. Uh, you're all amazing to me. So even though I'm gonna take a break from videos, continue being that way. Continue spreading that part of our hobby, the respectful, supportive, wonderful part that I know all of you are. So. Just keep that going, pay it forward. Um, so that's that's one of my absolute favorite things of this year, all of you. But with that said, let's go ahead and move on to the mod of the week. I'll actually shift on over, we can pop that up here. This comes to us from Scruffy Nerf Hoarder. This is the Mini Strife. This is a shortened Magwell Strife that takes Katana Mags. We've seen this before, but the thing that really makes this stand out to me is that integrated recon barrel, faux barrel muzzle on the front that really just gives it a very unique and interesting aesthetic. Something that doesn't look completely strife-like at first, even if you know a lot of the similar lines and shapes and, and the things like the expanded battery tray and motor covers may give it away a little bit more, but it's definitely a little bit different. And the addition of the worker stock on the back actually kind of adds to the look quite a bit. I'm generally not the biggest fan of that stock, but it really works in this blaster. I think they did a good job with not only the, the integration, but kind of the color selection. And it just looks like a really fun blaster to have around, get to use and be an eye turner. Even if it is a more compact blaster, it's, it's unique looking in a way that I really enjoy. So, I'm gonna have a link down below to the post on this. And uh, ideally I think you can find all the details in the internals in that, but it's just a cool build that I think was well worth sharing. So massive respect to Scruffy Nerve Hoarder for doing something a little bit different as 
we all try to do with our builds to give something a little bit of our own unique flair. And I think he very much accomplished that. That's going to bring us to our video of the week. This is our final video of 2018. So let's go with Mr. Nathan. This is his video on celebrity status and YouTuber stigma in the Nerf community. And this is a very important video, I think. Uh, he talks a lot about how people with larger viewer bases, some people can start to uh, look at them differently, or even potentially you can start to think about yourself differently, which is definitely something you don't want to do. Because I agree with a lot of his opinions on this topic, and especially one of them that he, he doesn't, uh, refer to his viewers as fans, which is something I, I like to refer to viewers as viewers, not fans. I'm no different than people viewing this video. And he, uh, has a similar thought on that. We're all just nerfers. We're all just playing with toys. And I think that's at its core, such an important thing to remember that, uh, no one is like better than, or it's just, it's not the case. We're all just nerfers. And I think that's such an important thing. And I think this is the best video I can leave you with at the end of the year for everyone to be able to watch. And like I've said, the viewers of this channel, you're all so respectful and, and wonderful viewers and commenters and supportive people of the community and other people in the comments. It seems like you probably all know this already. But just in case, I wanted to leave you with it because it's a good reinforcement of things that I'm no different from you, Mr. Nathan's no different from you, Drac is no different from you, anybody that's in this community is no different from anyone else. We all just want to have fun. We all just want to play with toys and mod them and uh, go hang out with friends while we do so. And that, to me, is at its core what we're all about. So definitely go check that video out. Um, it's well worth it. It's a decent length, but it's it's a worthwhile watch. Uh, so that, that, with that said, we're at the end of the year, and I'm not going to be doing this for a little while. That, that Like I said last week, it makes me sad. Uh, but we're going to talk about it a little bit next week. There won't be news on this channel next week, but there will be a video talking about uh, what I'll be doing, uh, potentially when I'll be back. I don't know is the short answer. Um, it could be a short period. It could be a very long period. I don't know yet. Um, but yeah, we'll talk about that next week. Sincerely though, thank you all for everything. Uh, not just this year, but the previous years and for the future when we come back. I look forward to it and I look forward to spending more time with all of you doing whatever it is we end up doing on this channel. So, um, I can make this a lot longer. And if I don't stop now, I probably will. But yeah, go check out the video over here. As always, thank you so much for watching. I'm Jangular, and I'll see you next year.